brilliant question, which is one of the reasons that uh, a couple of things start from the perspective of where you are, you're living alone, but you don't have to be alone, alone, just because there's no one living with you. How can you be safe? Make sure that you have a community, make sure that you have support, make sure that you're reaching out to people and saying, I'm alone. These are the concerns that I have. Talk to the MS navigators and see if perhaps a physical there or occupational therapist can give you some strategies to help you to manage life so that when you're alone, you're as safe as possible. Um, make sure that you're reaching out to people and touching, letting them know I'm, I'm okay, I'm not okay, here's what I need. If you don't hear from me for a certain period of time, could you check on me? Ask for the help that you need, the things that will help you to feel safe in your place of where you live, safe in your body, safe in just your being. The other thing is I'm an advocate. I'm an MS activist, and so I'm going to say, reach out to the MS activists or advocacy uh, branch and ask them, how can we advocate so that there are communities for people who are alone with MS, who want to feel safe, mm -hmm. but they don't really know where to go or how to go and have someone understand what their needs are. Um, I'm a huge advocate. I'm, I'm advocating with my local government for that. Mm -hmm.